Hello people. Without further ado, let's get into this. First, I got to start Apache Server on my PC. We have to keep it running to emulate the state when our project is hosted onto a PHP accepting server. Okay, so now we are able to open our project on a web browser. I am just using Google Chrome here. Localhost slash eShop underscore project. Take a view. Then here's a small view of our code. I'll get back to the code later in this video. We are back on Chrome. Let's look at our create a new account aka sign up part. Here's the header text. It says, Hi, welcome to eShop. Remember, this is a shared element with the sign in part that I'll demonstrate later. This background, this eShop logo, this thing here are all images that was provided by our institute. To be more exact and specific, all of these images are SVG images, which really helps when resizing. Then, all of those images are also shared common elements with the sign-in part. You can see our copyright notice here, which is also an shared common element. Now I'll explain about these separate fields on the sign-up part. These are as you can see first name and last name fields. This field is here to insert the email of the registering user. This is here to insert a secure password to that person's account on our eShop. This is here to insert the mobile number of that person. Then, here's a drop down menu to select that person's gender. It helps us later when this eShop is up on the net to recommend products based on that person's gender. Look, it instructs to select an option from the list. People can select either female or male. Then, here's the sign up button. Then, here's the coolest thing of this project yet. We can use this button to switch between the sign up and sign in parts. These buttons are acting as toggle switches. I'll get to the coding part of this later. I hope you can see that the page URL is not changing when switching between sign up and sign in parts. Then here's the sign in aka login part. You can see those shared elements that I mentioned before. This is the sign in email field. And this is the password field. And this thing here is a handy remember me tick box. And this option here will help users to recover their forgotten passwords. This is the sign in button to complete the sign in process. This button is here to do that toggling action that I mentioned before. Alright. Let's look at the codes of our project. We use MS Visual Studio Code as the supportive tool to code this project. We are using Bootstrap CSS framework throughout this project, which comes really handy when designing responsive web applications. Wait, let's check out the responsiveness of our eShop on various display resolutions. So I hope you can see as we decrease in the display resolution virtually, the project gets a more compact view without that image with people and that copyright statement. Whole purpose of making our eShop responsive to display resolutions is to make it fit nicely on smaller devices with smaller display resolutions. Now back to codes again. So, inside the head section of this index.php, I link the bootstrap file, style.css file, which is maintained into our own CSS. Then the browser tab icon. All 
on our style.css file you can see that we customized our project with the eShop logo and the background image. And we are using our custom fonts for this project too. This honey script font is the dominant font in our project but we are using this quicksand font for our title statement. Forgot to mention that I link our JavaScript file inside this body part of our index.php file. These divs are a main element in our project. And there are so many divs inside this code. These are the codes of our eShop header logo and our title statement. New user registration aka sign up part starts here. Login aka sign in part starts here. Then these are the codes of our copyright statement with the special copyright entity. Okay, let's see our JavaScript file. This is the JS function that enables us to toggle between sign up and sign in parts. I'll explain how that works. Wait, back to the index.php file. That JS function starts when clicking on this button and this button. I added two different IDs to this sign up part and the sign in part to grab those from the JavaScript side. I keep this data only inside this sign in part. So as you can see, I grabbed those sign in and sign up parts from this JavaScript side using those IDs. So basically, these codes are here to add or remove DNAN, which stands for display none to our sign in or sign up parts. When the DNAN is inside the sign up part, our project only shows the sign in part. When the DNAN is inside the sign in part, it only shows the sign up part. So that's all I have to demonstrate about this project for now. Thank you folks for listening to this demonstration. See ya.